Stay with the devil at your own risk. Alright, hello everybody, this is Nick from the Arcade Hunters and the Little Shop of Games here in Lutz, Florida on State Route 54. And we are checking out a game from a designer, uh, Greg Kamek, I think is how you pronounce the name. If not, I apologize. Because Kamek sounds like the um, bad guy in uh, Super Mario Brothers. But this is Spy Hunter from 1984. Now this is obviously based off of the 1983 arcade game of the same name from George Gomez, but this is the pinball machine version that came out. And according to um, Internet Pinball Database, there was uh, 2,300 units of this uh, game was produced, but this is pretty much the second or third game of Spy Hunter that I've ever seen. It was not one that you saw often. Once again, it was coming out in that, um, you know, the, the downward spiral that the um, video game and the pinball industry was getting into that, um, that mid-80s before, uh, you know, the Nintendo came out in 85, 86, depending on where you're from. But, yeah, let's take a look. So this has, like, two little play fields on top of it. Um, that skill shot, you pretty much want to get the 50,000 and open the gate because... This gate over here, this is uh, very treacherous with this um, bottom left play field. You'll end up going right down into the toilet and you end up going, um, you're losing your ball. Um, it's got the little uh, flippers up here that you can go up into here and they have different um, things up there. You got your special 90,000 points, an extra ball that you can light on there. Has a nice spinner. Of course, plays the Peter Gunn song that was in the original arcade game of Spy Hunter. And, yeah, it's got uh, some drop targets and spinners. got one pop bumper. Very simple game. Once again, we're going back to 1984. There's really not a lot to the game. But, no, hey, you don't ever get to see it. And I wanted to get a video of it while we had it here. So, still uh, playing pretty good. Get some uh, decent sound on it. So, yeah, let's set up that tripod. We'll try a game out of Spy Hunter here at the Little Shop of Games. Let's go check it out. All right, everybody, I got that tripod set up since, once again, it's a regular um, pinball with, uh, with, we don't have really any, you know, score displays on. I'm just going to get the play field for you guys. Let's hit that stop button. Let's get going. And there you go. It's got that classic. So you want to time your shot. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nope, I got the 10,000. Try to stay up in that top play part of the play field. Now we're getting very tricky with that top bumper because it just wants to make it drain from the left, so you gotta be careful. Thankfully, there is a gate on it, so it makes it uh, so. It we got our shot score on the right hand side. Now, a little, um, little trivia that I was reading on uh, the um, internet uh, database. It spells out Agent K, so that's for the um, the designer of the game. I didn't know... I forget if the agent in the original game had a name. Oh, that would have to ask George for. But something like George was saying, like, it's based off of some sports car that he had. I forget which sports car it was. I'm more of a video game, not, not a car man, so... Now, like I was saying, this is, like, pretty much, like, the third Spy Hunter I think I've seen. First, one place I saw it, I knew it was, wasn't working, wasn't operational, so I never got to play it. First time I actually did play it was, um on vacation here in Pennsylvania and I saw it at like some kind of I forget the name of the restaurant, but the restaurant had a had a little like arcade and it was like um they had a, like a thing you could get like food and stuff for um like a buffet almost and 
on the side of the wall they had a couple of arcade games and some pinball machines and I remember seeing Spy Hunter and I was like oh my god this I didn't even know they made a Spy Hunter pinball machine and I remember playing it uh, playing it with my dad because uh, my dad used to play uh, Spy Hunter with me in the arcade played it on uh, played the Sunsault version on uh, Super Nintendo a lot and there was that unofficial uh, Super Spy Hunter sequel that came out on Nintendo, um, I think it was like 87 or something like that, I forget the name of the game. I always think about uh, Spy Hunter was almost, almost a movie with The Rock, I know it had the, um, Nowhere to Run, I think it was called, it was a PlayStation 2 game. And uh, was going to originally have the rock in it, and it never became something. But you know, he ended up did making a uh, pinball machine. Ended up doing, you know, making the uh, the rampage movie. So video games are never far off from the rock. So it's really cool to see he's a. Uh, hope we got the gate open, so you'll see my uh, the light is lit over here. We got the gate ready to go. So you'll be able to see the wall if it goes down there. But my my luck, I'll end up. Oh, or I'll just go right down the middle of the flippers, because this... It's a very uncommon game for Spider-Man, you never see this. Surprisingly, in very good condition, since, you know, once again, it's 84, and it's, uh, almost 2024, so <laughs> it's getting up there in age like me. Let's play one more game that was 300,000. The one thing that I love about the game, of course, is the artwork. That was, uh, I love the artwork on the original Spy Hunter cabinet. Uh, one of my favorites is, if you actually get to see it, is the, uh, the sit-down cabinet of Spy Hunter has really cool artwork with the, um, with the boat on it when, uh, that's, uh, later in the game when you can actually transform your car into the speedboat and you start taking down some of the, um, oh man, right down, let's see, you gotta be careful of it. Oh, there's a, I was wondering where the Ripley's Believe It or Not was, and here it comes. Good stuff going around here at the little shop. Definitely get a video of that game, because I like Ripley's, and... I get to see Ripley's often. We are in the 80s with those pinball sounds. Hit that shot target again. We got one more ball. Let's make something happen. bonus. Go through that gate. It's like our extra ball is lit on there. It's flashing. Let's see if we can get up there and get it. Anytime I play anytime I play a pinball machine with like a separate like mini play field, it always makes me feel like I'm playing the games on um Triple Graphics, uh, the Alien Crush and Devil's Crush. All right, folks. So that is a look at 1984 Spy Hunter. Once again, it is here at the Little Shopping Game. So if you are interested, give us a call. Make sure you come on by, check it out, give it a play for yourself. See if you like it. All right, once again, I am Nick from the Arcade Hunters and the Little Shopping Games. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll talk to you folks all later. Take care.